Have you ever felt the sting of being overlooked by someone you deeply care about? It's as if they disregard your emotions and sentiments, treating you as if you're unimportant. They never seem to put you first, no matter how much love and dedication you show them. But imagine if there was a method to alter this pattern, to make them feel an irresistible urge to value and prioritize you. In this video, we're going to unveil 10 essential rules to transform yourself into a person who is irresistibly engaging and whom others eagerly want in their lives. Each rule we discuss is crucial, and we recommend you watch until the end to understand why every single one is a key component in changing the dynamics of your relationships for the better. Now let's begin. Rule 1. Don't reveal everything. Become mysterious. The allure of the unknown beckons, and within this mystery lies your power. As Seneca wisely stated, to be everywhere is to be nowhere. Let this be your guide. Be present, yet retain an air of mystery, much like a book, with some chapters subtly veiled, inviting others to leaf through the pages with a growing sense of intrigue. In conversations, reveal not all at once, but in a measured, thoughtful manner. Unveil your life's tapestry thread by thread, allowing others to weave their interest and curiosity into the gaps. This approach turns your persona into a riddle, a puzzle they yearn to solve. It heightens their anticipation, drawing them deeper into the labyrinth of your character. Consider the historical figure of Cleopatra. Her allure wasn't just in her beauty or power, but in the enigma she cultivated around herself. She was a leader shrouded in mystery. Her motives and thoughts often obscured, making her an eternally fascinating figure in history. Let your actions and words be unpredictable. Like a winding path through an uncharted territory, this unpredictability will magnetize others, pulling them closer in their quest to understand the depths of your soul. By not laying your entire life open from the outset, you invite them to explore, to discover, to be part of your journey. To put it simply, your life is not an open book for all to read, but a series of unfolding chapters, each revealing a little more of the complex, compelling individual you are. By preserving this air of mystery, you become an irresistible presence, leaving others longing for just a little more. Rule 2 Create a Fear of Losing You It's a common human tendency to overlook what is easily accessible, but perspectives shift dramatically when there's a risk of loss. Envision yourself as an irreplaceable entity in their lives, someone whose absence leaves a gaping hole. You aren't just another option, you are a vital necessity. How is this achieved? By embodying the essence of independence and self-reliance. Your life is a riveting journey, one that is complete and fulfilling on its own, regardless of their presence. It's this air of confidence and autonomy that draws people in. They see being a part of your life not as a basic entitlement, but as a cherished privilege. This approach aligns with the Stoic philosophy. As Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Your strength lies in yourself, sufficiency, and the unique adventure that is your life. People will begin to understand that you're not just another individual seeking their attention, but rather a formidable presence in their lives. They will start to exert more effort to keep you. You're not in this to chase affection or beg for bits of attention. You're here to be pursued. They should be the ones striving for your attention, therefore foster a subtle fear of losing you. Let them actively seek to be a part of your world, recognizing you as a prized treasure. You are not just a participant in this game of life, you are an essential victor they cannot afford to lose. A fitting example to illustrate this point is the dynamic between Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak during the early days of Apple. Wozniak, a brilliant engineer, was integral to the creation of the first Apple computers. His technical expertise and innovative designs were pivotal in establishing Apple's early success. Jobs, recognizing Wozniak's unique talents and the value he brought to their venture, worked tirelessly not only to collaborate, but also to support and amplify Wozniak's contributions. In this partnership, Wozniak wasn't just a co-founder. He was an essential force whose potential loss would have significantly impacted both Jobs' vision and Apple's future. 
This dynamic illustrates the importance of recognizing and valuing unique contributions, embodying the essence of making oneself an irreplaceable asset in any collaborative effort. Rule 3. Create your own happiness. This principle emphasizes the belief that true happiness is an internal creation. It's about embracing self-confidence, satisfaction, and independence, traits that inherently make you more appealing. Instead of relying on others for your joy, you nurture your own sense of fulfillment. This independence and self-assuredness carry an undeniable allure, making you more attractive to those around you. Individuals who exude confidence and positivity are naturally magnetic. By achieving happiness within yourself, you become a beacon of hope and inspiration to others. In creating your own happiness, you send a message that you are not in pursuit of completion through someone else. You are a whole content individual on your own. This approach is engaging because it doesn't burden others with the responsibility of making you happy. Your aim is not to find joy in another, but to share the joy you've cultivated, thereby enhancing the lives of those around you. Your presence becomes compelling, shining with the light of positivity and confidence that inevitably attracts others. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This quote encapsulates the essence of generating one's own happiness. Remember Theodore Roosevelt? Despite facing numerous personal challenges, including the loss of his wife and mother on the same day, Roosevelt embodied the principle of creating his own happiness. He pursued a life of vigor, engaging in activities like boxing, exploring the badlands, and dedicating himself to public service. His robust personality and zest for life did not stem from external validation or circumstances, but from a deep internal well of resilience and joy. Roosevelt's infectious enthusiasm and self-reliance not only defined his personal life, but also made him a charismatic and beloved leader. His ability to find joy and purpose within himself, regardless of external challenges, made him an admirable figure in history illustrating the power of self-generated happiness. Rule 4. Be costly and let them invest in you. Understand that you are a rare find a gem that others should aspire to hold. The value you carry isn't merely in being present, but in being a significant, intentional part of someone's life. Remember, what is easily gained is often lightly valued. True appreciation emerges from effort and commitment. As they pour their time, emotions, and energy into your life, their attachment to you grows stronger, transforming you from a fleeting interest into a cherished presence. Your role isn't to seek their attention or love desperately. Rather, it's to show that you are a meaningful, enriching addition to their existence, worthy of their earnest pursuit. Allow them the opportunity to invest in you, making your presence a prized aspect of their life they wouldn't want to lose. Reflect on the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. This embodies the essence of your worth. It is not just in being, but in being sought after and strived for. Consider the saga of Alexander the Great and his teacher, Aristotle. Aristotle, a philosopher of immense wisdom and knowledge, wasn't just another tutor in the young prince's life. He presented himself as a beacon of knowledge and strategic thinking essential for ruling an empire. Alexander, known for his ambition and intellect, understood the value of Aristotle's teachings and invested considerable time and effort in learning from him. This wasn't a typical student-teacher relationship. It was a bond where the students saw the teacher as a crucial asset, a treasure trove of wisdom that required earnest pursuit and respect. Aristotle's approach in educating Alexander wasn't of easy accessibility, but of a challenging journey towards wisdom, making his teachings a prized component of Alexander's eventual greatness. Rule 5 Don't make them the center of your life. It's crucial to remember that your life should not revolve entirely around someone else. Picture yourself as a lone, luminous star shining in the night, fueled by your unique light and vitality. You have your own path, independent of anyone else's orbit. It's important not to let your world become narrowly focused on another person, making them the epicenter of your existence. 
You have your own dreams, ambitions, and a distinct identity. This mindset creates an enigmatic allure, keeping them intrigued by the facets of your life and what drives you. Your autonomous spirit and adventurous demeanor add an attractive dimension to the relationship. It's about complementing each other's lives while maintaining your distinctiveness by not placing them at the core of your existence. Your allure and appeal grow. Living a life outside unnecessary relationships' boundaries allows you to continue developing, bringing excitement and a refreshing sense of freedom to your partnership. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king, once said he who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. This quote resonates deeply with the principle of maintaining your independence in relationships. Let's take for instance a well-known figure from history, Sir Isaac Newton, a brilliant scientist whose contributions changed our understanding of the universe. Despite his groundbreaking work and the intense demands it placed on him, he maintained a rich personal life filled with hobbies, friendships, and his own pursuits. His ability to balance his professional achievements with a robust personal identity made him not only a remarkable scientist, but also a well-rounded individual admired not just for his intellect but also for his independence and personal depth. This balance of personal independence alongside professional dedication presents a compelling example of how maintaining one's individuality can lead to a more fulfilling and balanced life. Rule 6. Prioritize your own needs first. This rule emphasizes the paramount importance of putting your own needs and well-being first in any relationship. It's essential to assert your worth and steer clear of situations where you're undervalued and not treated with the respect you deserve. You have a profound understanding of your own value and you refuse to settle for less. Your happiness and self-esteem are not up for compromise with someone who doesn't treat you with the necessary care and respect. By prioritizing your own needs and happiness, you make a clear statement. You will not allow anyone to belittle your feelings or undermine your self-worth. In any partnership, you are an equal, with your emotions and needs being of utmost importance. Remember, you are not here to be overshadowed or to seek approval from others. Your goal is to foster healthy, respectful relationships that are built on a foundation of self-respect. Standing up for yourself makes you more attractive and influential in anyone's life. Essentially, this rule is a reminder that your well-being and self-respect are paramount and should always come first. This is about making your personal aspirations and interests a top priority. To echo the Stoic philosophy, as Marcus Aurelius said, it is not events that disturb people, it is their judgments concerning them. This quote resonates with Rule 6, underscoring the importance of how you perceive and react to situations in relationships. Reflecting on Rule 6, the life of Roman general and statesman Lucius Quintius, Cincinnatus serves as a poignant example. Cincinnatus, celebrated for his military and political acumen, was equally renowned for his steadfast adherence to his personal principles and self-respect. Despite the allure of political power and the persuasions of allies, he consistently prioritized his values and integrity when not needed. He chose the simplicity of his farm over the trappings of power, distancing himself from those who did not respect his principles. His story exemplifies the importance of prioritizing one's own needs and values, a testament to the strength inherent in self-respect and the prioritization of personal well-being in all facets of life. Rule 7 don't be always available. The rarest gems aren't found at every corner. Similarly, your availability should not be limitless. Recognize the value of your time. It's a resource that shouldn't be freely dispensed at the whim of others. Prioritize your own life's narrative. Imagine a life where you're not constantly on standby, where your existence isn't anchored by the expectations of others. You have your own universe to explore, and those who enter it are privileged. Balance is key. Avoid being perpetually on call, awaiting their message, or serving their needs. At every turn, demonstrate that your time and focus are precious. Individuals are naturally drawn to those who have their own passions and agendas. When it's clear you're not just lingering in wait, it sparks their interest. They begin to ponder over your engagements, cultivating a sense of longing. 
continuous availability suggests they can access you at their leisure. But remember, you're not just anyone, you are an investment. This isn't about playing games. It's about showing that you have a vibrant life, with or without their presence. By not always being at their beck and call, they learn to value the time they have with you, so resist the temptation to be constantly accessible. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, we are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. This speaks to the importance of valuing your own time and perception over the fear of missing out or being less available to others. Reflect upon the tale of Ada Lovelace, a woman of profound intellect and creativity. Ada, a mathematician and writer, is often celebrated as one of the first computer programmers. Despite living in an era where women's roles were narrowly defined, Ada did not conform to the societal expectations of constantly being available or subservient. Instead, she immersed herself in her work, exploring complex mathematical theories and collaborating with notable contemporaries like Charles Babbage. Her focus on her own projects and her unwillingness to be perpetually accessible added to her mystique and allure. Ida's story is a testament to the power of maintaining one's individuality and the magnetic appeal it can generate. Her life was not a reactive one waiting on others. Rather, she carved her own path, captivating those around her by the sheer force of her focused passion and intellect. Rule 8 Stop Starting the Conversation All the Time The essence of Rule 8 lies in cultivating a balanced approach to initiating communication in any relationship. It's about understanding that constantly being the one to start conversations might not always be beneficial. Letting the other person also take the initiative at times is vital. This approach doesn't only show that your life is rich with other interests and activities, but it also serves as a barometer for their interest in you. Perpetually initiating contact might unintentionally send a message of always being readily available, perhaps too eager. This isn't about playing mind games. It's about fostering a sense of mutual respect and effort in the relationship. Marcus Aurelius once said the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice in the context of communication. This means not mirroring behaviors that can lead to imbalance or feelings of being taken for granted. It's about maintaining your dignity and self-respect, not engaging in a relentless pursuit of attention or validation. Rule 9. Don't be too emotionally attached. This highlights the art of emotional balance in the journey to becoming a priority in someone's life. It emphasizes the importance of not letting your emotions dominate the dynamics of a relationship, ensuring that your needs are not only heard but also respected. It's about striking the right chord between sharing your feelings and maintaining a level-headed demeanor. While emotions are integral to who we are, overexpression can sometimes cast a shadow over our true worth. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, the greatest remedy for anger is delay. This quote encapsulates the essence of Rule 9, exercising patience and control over our emotional responses. Rule 10 Be willing to walk away from them. Embracing the power to step back from a relationship that fails to honor your worth is the essence of Rule 10. This rule underscores the vital importance of recognizing your value and maintaining unwavering self-respect. It's crucial to set clear boundaries and expectations for how you wish to be treated in any relationship. When these standards are consistently unmet, it becomes imperative to have the courage to move on, irrespective of the emotional bonds that may exist. This action is not one of insensitivity. Rather, it's a crucial act of self-care. It stands as a testament to your dedication to self-respect and a firm refusal to sacrifice your well-being for someone who doesn't appreciate your worth. In showing your readiness to exit, you also send a powerful message to the other person highlighting the seriousness of the situation. This realization can prompt them to understand the importance of prioritizing and valuing you if they wish to continue having you in their life. Your goal isn't to desperately hold on to relationships that don't enhance your joy and self-esteem. Rather, it's to cultivate relationships that are healthy and based on mutual respect. Sometimes this means finding the fortitude to let go when it's necessary. In the spirit of Stoicism, Marcus Aurelius once said, 
you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This sentiment captures the essence of Rule 10, the understanding that your inner strength and self-respect are within your control, even when external relationships are not. Take the example of Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor known for his philosophical wisdom and leadership. Despite his immense power and influence, he often found himself in complex political alliances that didn't align with his principles. In these instances, he chose to distance himself from such alliances, demonstrating that even in positions of great power and attachment, one must be willing to walk away from situations or relationships that compromise one's integrity and self-worth. His choices reflect the essence of this rule, the importance of prioritizing personal values and self-respect over staying in relationships or situations that fail to recognize our worth. We've explored 10 key strategies for making yourself an unforgettable presence in others' lives. These include maintaining a sense of mystery, not being overly available, letting others invest in you, and prioritizing your own needs. It's crucial to strike a balance in how you communicate and to ensure you don't center your life entirely around someone else. Cultivating your own happiness and emotional stability makes you more attractive. Remember, it's essential to value yourself and be ready to walk away from relationships that don't appreciate your worth. This isn't just about seeking attention, it's about forming healthy, respectful relationships. By embodying these principles, you transform into someone others naturally want to prioritize. If you ever feel like just an option, remember you have the power to make choices in your life, including the choice to walk away. Your value is immense, and you deserve people who recognize and honor that. As this video wraps up, we encourage you to take these insights to heart, reflect on them, and make a personal commitment. Share this commitment in the comments to affirm your dedication to living as your best self. For example, if Rule 6 resonated most with you, simply comment. I will prioritize my needs first. Now you're ready to part ways with anyone who treats you as less than a priority, reserving your time and energy for those who enhance your life and align with your path.